rugged up in a very thick jacket as you guys can see in Australia it is winter at the moment and it's currently like nine degrees which for us people that are used to 20 odd degree heat to 40 degree heat is very very cold so I wanted to do a talk about my veil poi story you know how I got into poi um, and how I ended up doing the things I'm doing currently so um, there are gonna be some very touchy subjects that I will be bringing up um, that have influenced me to become a better person. So it was probably 2014, maybe 2013. Um, I kept seeing all these, you know, video clips and photos of these people doing spinning stuff. Um, and it was really amazing. It was really trippy. And I absolutely loved it. I was like, you know what? I've got to find out what this is. And I want to try and do it myself. Because I felt like that it was something that I would be really good at. Um, obviously uh, that was true because I am kind of sort of good at it but I wouldn't say I'm a professional. <laughs> but I do have a friend that's always been into this stuff and um, she actually told me that it was called Poi. Um, she gave me some links to stuff. I eventually got interested in it. My cousin, um, he also does a lot of fire spinning so I got you know a lot of information about it and that's sort of what kicked me off was you know seeing people on YouTube doing all these amazing stuff and I was like wow. Um, I simply had to get myself a pair. Now my first pair were the Lead Poi off eBay which I highly recommend people don't buy because the one that I bought was very faulty. Um, they actually ended up snapping and breaking and that wasn't very good. They hurt like hell. Um, a lot of you guys would probably hear this from other people um, besides myself that when you are hit with these particular cheap crappy ones they absolutely came. But because of that you know I've eventually gotten used to you know being hit in the head a couple couple of times because it doesn't hurt as much as it did with those things. I think my actual first real video was um, Watch Me Fail Up Poi and I mean that was that was a very long time ago when I did do that. I think it's you know 2013 maybe 2014. I have been doing Poi for quite some time. I've been learning different things. I've mainly been watching people like play Poi and that's what sort of helped was you know watching um, Nick do all of his tutorials and like you know what let's, let's do this. But of course I quickly realized that my Poi that I had purchased off eBay was a very unwise choice so I actually found an Australian website where they do sell Poi and fire spinning stuff. They are called the home of Poi and if you're in Australia and you're looking to buy local stuff there will be a link down in the description. As always I've got to add in the links in the description so um, check out that little part down below after this. So of course I eventually bought a pair of ninjas. Now if you don't know what ninjas are they're kind of sort of like the really weird but tricky and awesome version of a graphic one. They're only about you know yay big. They are called ninjas because they have like a very kung fu look because of their these various groups. You'll see them in a lot of my older videos actually. There are amazing they've got like different settings and they're really cool and I use them a lot I still do they are obviously battery operated and um, they're amazing LEDs I've never I've never <laughs> never not wanted to use them. I did actually use them in my latest fire spinning video um, which wasn't actually you know me spinning them but I was actually holding them up towards my face doing all these different weird motions which didn't come out too great but you know it came out you know looking okay. And of course you know um, I wanted to get more into fire spinning. I was very young and naive and of course you know the big foolish mistake is you know you want to get into the cool stuff. So what happened was you know I found out about this stuff called Val Poi. Um, um, and I was like, wow, this is, this is weird, this is cool, but weird. Um, and you know, it was mainly belly dances, and I was like, oh wow, I'd, I'd really love to do this, but I, I thought it was too much. I didn't believe that I could do it because it looked far too complex. I wasn't that confident. I was still, you know, having a lot of issues with my poi. I'd always end up whacking myself in the head. So I was like, you know, I, I don't think I can do this. So obviously, you know, I did end up buying these really small ones that were like, you know, fire trainers. Um, where it was like, you know, the generic ball, but they had, had this really tiny fabric that was probably about this big. You will see them probably in some of my older videos. I definitely know they were the first thing that I used on my Twilic Dancer over on my cosplay channel. And, you know, it was cool, it was awesome, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I, I did actually want something a little bit longer. I wanted to get that feel. I wanted to experience what it was like to have Valpoi. But those things were the only things I actually had. 
and they did sort of teach me a lot about how to avoid hitting myself because I was like, well, hold on. Um, this is something I can do and I can add in here. To get onto this part of the subject is a little bit harder for me to talk about, especially on camera. Um, it's very personal and very deep because when I was doing bail put, it's for fun, it was exercise. Um, back then I was very, I th always thought I was extremely obese. Um, now I'm extremely bigger than that. Um, as you guys can see that I've changed over the years. Um, and you know, it's, it's hard because what happened was um, I got into a, a bad relationship. And when I say a bad relationship, I don't mean like, you know, drugs and all that crap or, you know, um, he, was, he was a thug guy or anything like that. He was actually a nice person on the outs. The problem was once the girlfriend title was on, that was it. Uh, there was no Mr. Nice Guy anymore and um, he did become very abusive towards me um, physically, mentally and financially and it was very, very hard. During that time, the biggest thing for me that made me who I was was drawing and doing the poi. I couldn't draw anymore. I couldn't even sit on my own computer and look at anything. I couldn't do anything on my phone and I lost who I was. He was a really bad control freak and um, a very manipulative person to the point where I couldn't even say hello to a person. So it was it was a very hard time for me and um, I eventually I couldn't do do veil play. I couldn't do play at all. But it, it was it was very hard. It was it was very traumatic. But um what happened after when I broke the relationship off, um, which took a lot, it took a lot out of me because I become very suicidal. Um, I developed really bad anxiety problems. Um, it was a very dark time for me and I fell into a very dark place because I didn't know who I was. And like, it was, it was very hard to be free of everything that had happened. But um, eventually I did sort of find myself in a way um, I wasn't I wasn't confident I couldn't sit down I couldn't draw so I'd lost that sense of myself there I'd fallen off the grid I sort of got more into you know playing games and that and um, you know that's when I sort of got really into Far Cry 3 which sort of helped um, Far Cry 3 had a very interesting song which is something that I've always used in a lot of my other um, Valpoi videos and in fact it's probably one of the most popular videos um, that I've done which was the Insanity one and back then I'd gotten you know, the new Vales and I was testing them out they were pretty awesome um, in my mind but it's very hard it was very hard to come back from everything and I found that I was too scared to do a lot of things that I could have done I lost a lot of skills um, and it was, it was just very hard, it was very hard. The um, biggest thing was the fact that I become very frustrated, I become very depressed. I didn't have any confidence in myself, I'd lost all of that and um, I eventually sat down and I, I noticed that there was this woman um, on YouTube obviously that was doing a lot of these amazing bell poi stuff and um, believe it or not, it's Dana Beaufort. <laughs> Um, you guys always hear that I say that she's a very big inspiration to me, and she is. Um, she created Veil Poi in 2006, and um, when I saw her doing all these amazing stuff, I'm like, wow, that's, it was really amazing, you know? It captivated me, it inspired me to go, okay, let's, let's try and work things out. And that's when I sort of, you know, started to get back into the mood of doing Veil Poi. And um, a lot of things that I found out was I was having complications with my veil. They weren't flaring out properly. I became really annoyed because a lot of the time I'd spend so much time and work on um, just doing, you know, these dance movements and thinking I was going to come out really great. And then, you know, when you review the, the footage, you go, wow, this is absolutely crap. Um, and half of those things I didn't even upload. And then of course I discovered Silk Bamboo and she makes beautiful, amazing veils and they're a dream come true, literally. And of course, um, coming from everything that was really traumatic, there had to be a really big blowback for me, which was my anger. And Veil Poi, it helped with that because what I was finding myself doing was I'd get so, so angry, I'd just pick up the veils, I'd go outside and I just, I would just go absolutely crazy. Um, this is how I learned half of the things I have now and by what I was doing was just, I was just throwing my arms around. I didn't care about movement. I didn't care if I got tangled up. I was very reckless, as very unprofessional as that is, but I, I lost myself. Um, I was starting to find myself, but I was starting to find that I had a really bad side to myself. And um, coming back from all of that was really, really hard. 
but I have obviously I found who I am again um, and I owe a lot of thanks to a lot of people because of that you know since I've been doing everything has been a very big role in my life it's it's something I love but this is my fail poi story and I hope it hasn't been too depressing um, I hope it's more so been uplifting for a lot of you guys but if you love Bail Poi stuff and you would like to hear more um, about different things I do, definitely, you know, go up the top there, hit that subscription button, um, and also go and check out one of my recent videos. And um, just thank you guys for being such awesome people.